Hello everyone, welcome to QR School. In this video, I am going to give you an introduction to Smart PLS. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to know what is Smart PLS, have an introduction to the workspace of a Smart PLS software, how to import the data file, and how to develop the path models. Smart PLS is one of the leading statistical software that is used to estimate the variance based structural equation modeling using partial least square, normally known as PLSM. It also has a graphical user interface and it is normally used when we have a complex model. A model that contains many constructs, that is variable, indicators and multiple relationships. Okay, so this is the workspace of a Smart PLS. Currently, I'm using Smart PLS 3.3.2 version. When you open up the software, this is what you see. At the right side, the empty canvas. At the left side, proje Project Explorer section and Indicator section. In order to start, first we have to create a new project. So go to New Project option and give a name. Let's say I'm giving project one and press OK. So as you can see at the left side, project one is created. In order to start the analysis, we have to first import the data file. How we can import the data file in a smart PLS, I will tell you later on in this video. But let me just give you some other information. OK, so if you want to save the document this document smart PLS document you can simply go to file and save as and if you want to create new project you can also create it by just going to file and here the first option by just clicking this you can create a new project and you can also create a new path model from here you can also import the data from here there are certain options and if you want to change the theme of the workspace, you can go to theme and from here you can change the current theme. And um, under the drop down list of calculate, there are certain options related to the data analysis. If you want to change the license, you can go to info and here you can switch the license. The language of the workspace, the language of a smart PLS uh, version that you are using, you can go to language and under the drop down list, there are several different languages. Importing data file in a smart PLS is very simple. There are several ways through which you can import the data. First, by just double clicking this option, you can browse the data file and upload it here. Second is you can go to project one, uh, this project, right click and here you can see import data file. So the same window will open and from here you can browse the data. Another way is you can go to file and here you can see import data file option. By clicking this, again this the same window will appear and from here you can browse the data file and upload it. Okay, remember one thing. Smart PLS only accept CSV format file. So while, while uploading the data, you should make sure that the file should be in CSV format. Okay, suppose this is the file, this is the data file I'm going to use. So let's see how I am saving the file into CSV format. For that, Go to File, Save As. So here, go to Save As Type and select CSV, comma Delimited. Now you can easily upload the file into Smart PLS. 
Okay, I have saved the file into CSV format and I'm ready to upload the file here. For that, just double click, go to data and open. Press OK. So you can see here, file is uploaded. Here you can see the indicators, variables. So it means the data is imported. Now you are ready to analyze the model. Smart PLS is a very simple and easy to use software. Let's see how we can draw the path model here. For that you have to go to project 1 tab and here I am going to draw the path model. As you can see in the indicator section there are different variables. Suppose I have 5 variables A, B, C, D and E. And each variable has 5 indicator. It means for each variable to measure each variable I have asked 5 different questions. A, B and C are my independent variable, D is a mediator and E is a dependent variable. So what I have to do, I just have to simply select, drag and drop. Let's see. Select all the indicator of A, drag and drop it here. So you can see um, a circle and yellow indicators. So this circle represents latent variable which is A and these yellow square shape variables are observe variable. If you want to know what is latent and observe variable you can watch my another video in that I have briefly explained latent and observe variable. Okay so we can also rename the latent variable right click go to rename and change the name let's say a uh, variable name is a so i will write a and press ok ok you can also set the diagram as per your requirement right click if you want to hide the indicator you can select this and the indicator will be hidden and if you want to show the indicator click show indicator and again indicator will be shown if you want to change the position of the indicator right click and here from here you can align each indicators like if you want to align it top you can click this otherwise left right and bottom okay so for now I have to align it left you can also delete the indicator from here Okay, as you can see, I have dragged and dropped each of the variable and I've also aligned accordingly. And now lastly, I have to connect each of the variable. Let's see. For that, go to connect and here you can see, with the help of this symbol, you can collect latent variable. Select this. Okay, so connect A to B, B to D, okay, so the model is drawn. This is the way you can draw the path model in a smart PLS. Thank you.